Hey guys, it's George. So this past weekend, I was at Hallyu Pop Fest London 2022, and I got to attend my first ever red carpet. So obviously I had to make a red carpet review from it. I've done a lot of red carpet reviews here on my channel, a lot of K-pop red carpet reviews too. So to actually attend a red carpet, it was an unreal experience. If you want to see more about that, I'll leave my vlog from Hallyu Pop Fest linked in the description box. You can go watch that after this video, but we're gonna be going through the looks from day one, day two. I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts and opinions. And then as always, we're gonna be rating each look out of 10. And because Hallyu Pop Fest was held here in London, it'll be out of 10 Union Jack flags. If you want to learn more about my fashion background before we get into this review, I've left a little blurb in the description box that you can go read at your own leisure. But let's jump into day one. I just wanna say now that I'm sorry for the road noise if it seems louder than usual. I've got my window open because there is a heat wave here. It is so humid. It's so sticky. I'm literally fanning myself in between shots. <sighs> it's not a vibe. Just before we jump into day one, we do need to take note that I'm gonna say 90% of the outfits that we see on the red carpet are also these idol stage looks. There were only a few outfit changes when it came to the stage and I'll point those out as we go throughout the video, but let's kick it off with day one and with Sam Kim, our first performer and our first idol to grace the red carpet. Okay, I actually can't cope with this road noise. I'm committing to melting for you, for you. <laughs> Just gonna have to... I really like Sam Kim's outfit, but I do not think it's appropriate for the red carpet. And I know this isn't a red carpet of an award show. It's the red carpet before a concert. And I think that's a really nice touch that Hallyu Pop Fest does. So I can appreciate that. I'll take that into account. I do really like the pieces themselves, the light coat, the light shirt with that print, and then the trousers with that really nice side stripe, and then that white sneaker. The white sneaker balances out the shirt, so the outfit itself is really nice. I just think it's too casual for the red carpet. This was the outfit that Sam Kim wore during his showcase performance, but then for his evening concert performance, he got changed. I think there was a switch up of the jackets, if I'm correct. This casual styling does really suit him, but as I've said, it is too casual in my opinion for the red carpet and i think it is the most casual outfit that we've seen on the red carpet at hallyu pop fest so for that reason i'm going to give this five union jacks it's a nice outfit i just don't feel like it's appropriate for the red carpet p1 harmony were up next on the red carpet and in my red carpet review videos where we are wearing stage outfits to the red carpet i always talk about whether they're too stage like for the red carpet or they're the perfect balance or they're like very red carpet you, you get what I'm trying to say. And for me, I really love these outfits, but I do think they definitely lean more stage than red carpet. And I think it's just to do with the cuts of them. The cuts are very relaxed, very flowy. You can see that the fabrics are very light and you could see that on their stage performance as well. What I do really like is this paisley print this scarf-like print on all of the pieces, and that's how you're pulling all of the members together. The color palette itself is also quite neutral, and it was so hot on Saturday. I mean, it's so hot now. <laughs> but the light fabrics must have been an absolute joy for the members of P1 Harmony to wear on this red carpet. These outfits as well really suited the performance of P1 Harmony. These are the looks that they wore in their showcase, and those relaxed silhouettes, giving us like street wear, low key kind of vibes. It really suited their performance. And then in their evening performance, they came out in these really nice purple looks and there was such a beautiful balance of the color palette. So I'm gonna give P1 Harmony's red carpet looks a 7.5 Union Jacks. Up next, Oneus, and this is classic K-pop red carpet, black and white classic k-pop red carpet and we've got different cuts of tailoring on each member we've got more crop jackets double breasted jackets single breasted jackets and then we've also got the gold details on the lapels of the jackets or on the ties themselves so i like the fact it's classic but then we also have that contemporary flair as well because we've got three members who are shirtless under their tailoring and then three members that have shirts and ties on so that's a really nice balance there and these are the outfits that they did wear 
wear during their performance and it really suited their performance as well they were talking about giving this like sexy like mature kind of vibe and this tailoring definitely does that but it's the gold accents that just really mwah, like the gold chanel pins the gold chain coming to the buttonhole the gold safety pin like it's just slick you guys know i love it this is probably one of my favorite red carpet looks from day one obviously <laughs> and no surprise at all i'm gonna give one 10 out of 10 union jacks classic k-pop red carpet slick vibes suited the red carpet and also really suited their performance everglow followed one on the red carpet and i was pissing my pants when they came out the way they posed incredibly cute the interview itself like i was just happy to be there in their presence like oh my god and these outfits are everglow stage outfits and they do suit the red carpet because of all of that beautiful stonework on the clothing it looked incredible on stage under the lights i do feel like they do lean more stage than red carpet but i love how they've created this bandana paisley print with the stones it's so interesting to look at and the way it captures the light on stage it gives like a different dimension to seeing them on the red carpet in the daylight the sunlight didn't catch any of the stones but all the lights on stage lit that up so it gave you like two different versions of these outfits it was incredible i also really like the balance of these outfits i like the fact that all of the members have boots that come up to right under the knee and then you've got Aisha in the middle wearing those leather trousers. I just think it really balances out the outfits really well. So I'm gonna give Everglow 8.5 Union Jacks. As I said, incredible on stage, really good on the red carpet, but they do lean slightly more stagey. And in my opinion, they worked better on stage just because all of the lights lit up those stones. Out next for Astro and the first thing I noticed with Astro when they came down to the end of the red carpet was how incredible they smell. They were probably five or six feet away from me and you could smell them. They smell so amazing. And even when they got up on the little stage and the MC started interviewing them, he was like, oh my God, you guys smell incredible. Like I can still smell it if I think about it. Like it's honestly that good. I really like these red carpet looks. They were also Astro's stage outfits. They only performed one song together, which I'm still a bit butthurt about, but I like the fact that they had different outfits for their subunit performances and then they came out in these looks again as a group and they performed Candy Sugar Pop and I think those yellow tones work really well and I like the fact that all of the jackets are cropped but they're different shapes. They have different details like peak lapels, that wider lapel on Sana and then on Moonbin he's giving us this like military vibe with all of the buttons going down that like satin white stripe on the collar going all the way around that little flash of flesh on the neckline of the t-shirt like it's Mwah. and then Jin Jin as well is giving us like a low-key military vibe with his jacket another thing I really like about these outfits is that Jin Jin and Rocky are both in the jeans and then Moonbin and Sana are in those tailored trousers so it just gives a nice difference in the trousers but all of the trousers slash jeans are hitting them at the same point at the waist they all have that thin style belt that's the same tone so it creates a lot of cohesion within their looks but all of the details on the upper body completely different and they work really beautifully as a team look so i'm going to give astro 10 union jacks i think the tailoring works perfectly on the red carpet but the details and how they switched the top half of the outfits out for their performances it just worked beautifully out next on the red carpet was the queen huasa Hwasa looked incredible and she must have been fucking boiling in this outfit. Like, I know they're only out on the red carpet for like five to ten minutes, but ooh, this full sequin jumpsuit with the cutout detail on the shoulder, that belt detail that wraps around twice with the buckle, the flare, the black boot, the long sleeves such an incredible look for the red carpet the sequins looked incredible in the sunlight but then this was also Hwasa's stage outfit so those sequins looked really great 
under the stage lights and it really really suited her performance as well in her interview she was asked the inspiration behind her look and she said that she was here in london to eat us up so that's why she went with the animal inspired print and girl she ate she ate what i really loved about hwasa on the red carpet and in her performance was just her presence she came gunning down the red carpet glared into the cameras and then she just burst into laughter and started waving and being really cute. And I was just like, oh, I love this. Hwasa gets 10 Union Jacks from me. I know in the back of my mind, I think that this is a bit more stagey than red carpet, but I do think it really works for both. It was incredibly attention grabbing and just, I can't give her less, I'm being biased, but even if I was, it would be like 9.5, but I'm sticking to my 10 just because the presence, the performance, it's wasa, come on. And our last idol of day one was Exo's Chen. And I'm gonna be real, I'm really disappointed with this red carpet look. I know it's not an award show, I've said that, and I know it's the red carpet before a concert, but to come out in a black crew neck sweatshirt and a pair of gray tailored trousers, it's just a bit underwhelming. It is a really nice smart casual look. I will give you that. The cut of the trousers, that pleat detail at the front, beautifully done. The silhouette on him, it's great. Everything fits perfectly, hitting him in all the right points. It's very casual chic. We love casual chic. You can't go wrong with casual chic, but for a red carpet, it's just a bit underwhelming. And it's, it's EXO, it's Chen, like, you want the most, don't you? So I'm probably just being greedy. He did change for his stage performance and this was still very casual, but he had like a nice shirt and trousers on. This outfit's nice for day to day, kind of the, along the lines of San Kim's, what I said there. I'm gonna give this six Union Jacks. I believe that was one point higher than I gave San Kim, but I just prefer the silhouette of this look and I think it's styled impeccably. Now we're on to day two of Hallyu Pop Fest London and I didn't actually attend the red carpet of day two, but I found lots of amazing shots and I'm very excited by these outfits. So kicking it off with Paul Kim, love this outfit. 10 Union Jacks straight off the bat, all black, slick three-piece suit to me it looks like there's a slight sheen to the fabric as well which i think is a really nice touch and then he's got that necklace really close to the neck that waistcoat underneath i believe it's a waistcoat judging from the shot where he's giving us this but i like the fact it's been worn shirtless it's very contemporary and the fit of it as well it's very strong on the shoulders and then very slim on the legs with that black boot and what i like about this is that I don't know what he wore in his showcase. I didn't go watch the showcase performances, but I did go watch the evening concert. And in the evening concert, he was wearing this beautiful baby blue suit that was a complete different cut from this. It was very oversized, casual, like wide leg trousers, white sneakers. It was incredibly contemporary. So he's giving us multiple sides to men's tailoring and I just really appreciate that. You guys know how much I love tailoring. So as I said, 10 Union Jacks for Paul Kim. Second on the red carpet was Weekly and Weekly's performance was just, absolutely loved it. After school, the way the crowd erupted, come on. I really like all white on the red carpet because it really stands out. And again, it works against that red carpet. And I feel like this is quite classic K-pop red carpet again blacks or whites or a mixture of both. And these outfits are quite stagey for the red carpet, but I just really love the cuts of them. What is so fantastic about this set of looks for stage and red carpet is that they're incredibly cohesive. We've seen previously a lot of girl groups have trouble being cohesive when it comes to the red carpet and it looks like two members have been styled by one stylist and the other three have been styled by another stylist and it's all just a bit like hickledy pickledy but where this is all white the hemlines of the skirts are pretty much the same length the length of the boots 
are almost exactly the same length. We have members of splits on the side, members of taping details, and then the cuts of the tops are quite similar as well. So it just creates this beautiful cohesion. Such a fantastic set of looks, and they really, really worked on stage. So I'm gonna give Weekly a Union Jacks, only because I think they are more stagey than red carpet. So I'm gonna be fair to my own scoring system, even though I wasn't with Hwasa, but... Up next was Cravity, and I absolutely love this set of red carpet looks. Again, very classic K-pop with the black and the white, but I feel like the embellishment of the Cravity logo on the chest of their jackets and then the edging on certain members adding that pop of metallic and shine it works really well on the red carpet and it's also going to work really well on the stage and this set of looks is definitely giving me like in hype and kind of vibes because they're giving us that like kind of school uniform vibe they're giving us a matching vibe but when you look close the details are different for each member and that's what in hype and do and it just looks incredibly cohesive and slick every single time when we look at the bottom half of their outfits it is all the same slim cut trousers and those black boots but then the cuts of the jackets are completely different and the styling of the jackets and the shirts on each member is slightly different as well so really nice touches like These are the outfits that Gravity wore on stage as well. I'm gonna insert a clip of that intro performance just because I'm still blown away by that. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna give Gravity 10 Union Jacks. Perfect for the stage, perfect for the red carpet. I love the in hype and vibes of like the school uniform matching. <laughs> Following Gravity on the red carpet was CIX. And what I think is really interesting, just flicking between these two images, is how similar these red carpet looks are. But I feel like Gravity are giving us a more like youthful, boyish vibe with that like school uniform nod, whereas Gravity are giving us a more like mature darker, sexy vibe to their looks. And oh, you know I love it. Again, very classic K-pop, black and white tailoring, the beautiful embellishments. I love all of the edging detail in the gold, the diamond shape on this jacket. It's so incredible. What I'm noticing about CIX's outfits as well is that they have the same shoes and the same trousers on. It's just the top half of the outfits that are different and i feel like this is classic k-pop red carpet styling this is definitely like a formula for success on the red carpet when it comes to male groups because it just gives such a look of cohesion and that's like the main thing for me when it comes to k-pop groups on the red carpet but the jackets are so beautifully done and the level of embellishment is different on each member the cuts ever so slightly different and then members with white shirts underneath to really contrast and then other members that are completely shirtless it's sexy cix are gonna get 10 union jacks and to be honest i feel like all the looks that have been like black and white or have some form of embellishment or they're tailored i've been giving like top points to so maybe it's like my own my own bias <laughs> Kepler followed CIX on the red carpet and I feel like you guys know exactly what I'm going to say so if you want to pause the video and leave me a comment telling me what I'm going to say then just go right ahead. I really loved this set of outfits. It worked perfectly on the stage but I think for the red carpet they are definitely too stage driven and I know as I've said before, I know that they're wearing the stage outfits on the red carpet. You can't take into consideration what it's going to be like on the red carpet. But this is just how I'm reviewing the looks. And what I love about the set of looks is the cohesion, the same boot, the black and white color palette with those pops of yellow is incredibly cohesive. And I love the fact how each member has something unique going on with their outfit. Bahia, for example, that beautiful asymmetric skirt, shouting that beautiful, like, patchwork crop top. 
and then hickory on the end with this really beautiful corset top with that lacing detail that ties into this whole kind of like varsity college stage outfit look so as a whole to see a nine member girl group on the red carpet in incredibly cohesive looks a big big tick love the color palette love the cuts love the pleated skirts the denim shorts the varsity vibe but just for the red carpet i don't feel like it necessarily works so for that reason i'm going to give kepler i'm gonna give them 7.5 union jacks because i just love these outfits on the stage so much but i know you it's hard to get a balance of stage and red carpet right and i feel that's especially the case with female groups male idols tend to perform in tailoring quite a lot so it definitely works on the red carpet but we're not going to get Kepler coming out in like ball gowns and then for them to go to perform. SF9 absolutely killed the red carpet and they killed the stage. Everything about these looks from the red carpet to the stage absolutely slapped. I'm sure you already know what my favourite look is, Taeyang. In this blazer with the cutout detail, the way that those front panels swoop in, and then he has the belt right at the waist, really snatching him in. I was literally in awe of this man's physique. I was like, I need to cut down on the carbs, girl. SF9 definitely had a sexy vibe about them and they have the tailoring to match. This tailoring is so sexy. All of the details, the black edging, the beautiful eyelet details, the layering of the jackets wrapping around, giving them such a beautiful shape. And then I love how four members are in white and then two of the members are in black. It's got a really nice balance and it also worked really nicely on the stage. these outfits, 10 Union Jacks for SF9. Finally, on the red carpet was Kai. 10 Union Jacks, no shock, no shock there at all. I believe this outfit is Gucci, it would make sense. I love this outfit and I feel like Kai in a lot of his airport fashion, there are elements of traditional menswear, but they have a contemporary flair and that's exactly what we have here. The blue and white striped shirt with that solid white collar with that rounded spread shape going back, very traditional menswear. And then we have this window pane check jacket with the incredibly strong shoulders. It's very classic men's tailoring fabric, but in a very contemporary shape. And then what I really love is how the trousers are like an inverted window pane from the jacket. You'll notice that that yellow window pane check on the trousers, at least I think it's a window pane. I'm not sure if it is, but it's giving me a window pane vibe. And that's just the name of a check style. Um, but you'll notice that that yellowy line is a lot more strong in the trousers, whereas in the jacket, it's a lot more light. So I really like that play on the checks. It has a slight print clash to it and the stripe of the check, it works. It works really, really well. And then the loafer, the black and the white, the little tassel coming through with how wide that trouser is, it's just such an incredible red carpet look. And this is not what he wore on the stage. He wore something different on the stage. He had like um, a waistcoat on with this very like slinky white crop shirt underneath. And then he had this amazing pair of black trousers that had a flare on them, but he had to go change them after his performance and came out in just like a pair of gray combat trousers that didn't have like the same oomph. So this is a completely different vibe on the red carpet. Kai, 10 Union Jacks no surprise. From day one, I would have to say my best dressed is Hwasa. I just think her outfit worked perfectly for the road carpet and for the stage. And my day two best dressed, SF9. Again, worked perfectly for the stage and for the road carpet. Why couldn't I get my words up there? SF9 had a lot of competition from Gravity and CIX, but I think SF9 just pushed in front because I'm so obsessed with Tang's jacket and their performance was one of my favorites. That's just like edged it in front for me. Let me know in the comments who is your best dress from the Halle U Pop Fest red carpet. Honestly, this was such an incredible experience going to the red carpet, seeing it, seeing idols up close after all this time reviewing it on like my laptop 
in my room. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like such a full circle moment. So that was absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to Hallyu Pop Fest for having me. They do have Hallyu Pop Fest happening in Sydney on August 13th and 14th. So if you're on that side of the world, I've left Hallyu Pop's website linked in the description box. You can go check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are honestly the best and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.